Hi everyone, CFL Park Hopper here at Universal Orlando, and we're here to check out Mardi Gras. So let's head on in, because it's supposed to be Florida's biggest party, as the sign says, and let's see what they have here for Mardi Gras season at Universal Orlando. Okay, so we're gonna start here at the French Quarter Courtyard. This is right outside of the Mummy, and they have some folks already out here in costumes. You're pretty. I'm guessing it's a mermaid and a seahorse. And I think this stuff really starts up in the late afternoon, evening. It is almost five o'clock. Um, so I think this is kind of when this stuff opens. I think the courtyard here for the food opens around 4 p.m. So if you're kind of getting here between four and five, that's probably when the uh, characters come out and when the food opens. So let's head in here and see what they have to eat. So they have twisted taters. I believe are their famous uh, fried potato crisps on a stick. Here they are, Cajun twisted taters. So they're gonna have Cajun seasoning. Can you guys see the menu? Zoom in there. Well, that looks kind of tasty. Let's keep going and see what else they have. Let's see beignets. This guy that's holding. Let's see. Oh, po boys. Mmm. See, they have a catfish po boy, shrimp and andouille sausage, and chicken and andouille sausage. These are seven ninety, seven dollars each, six ninety nine. It looks like a pretty good size. There's a picture one. They have the specialty drinks here. So, oh, close of that. Rumbalaya. A ragin rumbalaya. Carnival cocktail. And vicious voodoo. And they also have beers. Let's see. And gator and etouffee. Hmm. They have. You get gator bites and crab etouffee, which is only $4.99 for the crab etouffee. I might try some of that. I keep walking around though, I gotta look at all the choices. Yay. Yeah, of course. I keep the gold on. Let's see, there's more tents over here. Okay, here's the beignets and king cake. Mmm, yum. Might have to give some of this stuff a try too. They can get, let's see, here's the menu. You can get king cake for $4.99 and you can get beignets for $4.99 with dipping sauce. Either chocolate caramel or strawberry. Ooh, that's a tough choice. And over here they have gumbo and jambalaya. Choices the choices. I'm getting hungry, my mouth's watering. Okay, you can get jambalaya, you can get an entree size for $10.99 or a sampler for $5.99. Same with the shrimp gumbo, $4.99 for the sampler or you can get um, the entree size for $8.99 and they have red beans, rice, and shrimp for $4.99. Oh boy, what to get. I think I'm gonna go back and do the etouffee. I am a big fan of etouffee. Gumbo, not so much. Um, I don't really like the smokiness taste of the gumbo. But I do like etouffee. I am a seafood person, so I may try that. Do, they do have another area for the specialty drinks right over here too, um, right next to uh, Transformers building. So I think I'm gonna try the etouffee and then come over here for some maybe some beignets or king cake. I've had beignets in the past. I've never had king cake. So I kind of feel like maybe I should try king cake to so try something different, even though I love beignets. What are they doing? Now they also have a tasting lanyards, which you can buy, and um, you can you pay them for a certain price, and I believe they're good for the entire event. So you know it's going on for two months basically, um, and if you're going to come back more than once, you can get the tasting lanyard, and then you basically can just keep scanning it until it's used up. So that may be an option that you want to use. Here's the king and queen, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's get in line and get some crab etouffee. So here's my crab etouffee. It looks delicious. It comes with a big piece of bread. I'm gonna come over and find a spot to try it out. Okay, so that is very tasty. It's very savory. 
And basically what it is, is it's a, it's a sauce. It's like a stew sauce. Um, it's got celery, onions, peppers, garlic, uh, parsley. You can taste all the different spices in there. And there's really good. And then they have the little shredded crab pieces along with the rice. And the French bread to dip is that really good. It's a really good, hearty, savory dish. I'm glad that they give you the small portion because I think um, it would be a lot, you know, to eat if they gave you like a full size. So I like getting this smaller portion. Plus then you can try other things. But this is really good. I would highly recommend the crab fish etouffee. Okay, so once again, that was some very tasty etouffee. I would also like to mention that you can use your annual pass discounts on these booths out here. So if you're an annual pass holder, keep that in mind. And also, it wasn't overly like Louisiana spicy, so which is good for me. I have severe acid reflux, so I really have to watch how much of this stuff I eat. Um, with the peppers and onions and that kind of thing, it just set off my acid reflux without spice. So the dish itself is not extremely spicy. It's very tolerable. They do have hot sauce packets that you can add to your meal if you want to kick it up a notch. But it doesn't come out overly spicy, so it is edible. However, that's going to be the only main dish that I try. Um, as much as I'd like to have a po' boy or the Cajun taters, I can't do much of the spice. It has to be in, in low doses for me. So I'd have to come back another day and give it a whirl. But I am going to come here and get a king cake. So let's get in line for that. All right, guys, check this out. This is the king cake. It looks like a giant cinnamon roll with the Mardi Gras colors. If you've had king cake before, comment, because I want to know if this is what it normally looks like. I've never had it before. So let's give it a taste. So yeah, I would definitely call this a cinnamon bun with uh, the cinnamon roll icing and then yellow, blue, and green sprinkles. That's what's on it. So tell me in your comments, is king cake normally a cinnamon roll, basically? I thought it was different than that. So let me know if you've had it. But this is good, <laughs> but I'm just not sure if it's the real deal. All right, so this is the king cake. Maybe I should have got the beignets. Let me know in the comments. Now besides food, they also have a lot of merchandise. They have a lot of these neat masks for sale. They're really pretty. I like this one. Isn't that pretty? How much is it? $14.95, that's not bad. I like that purple feathered one too. And look at all the fun hats. The flamingo's great. And they have shot glasses with Mardi Gras from Universal Orlando. $10. A be bead tie. It's funny. And lanyards. So that's cool. They also have a Mardi Gras sweat jacket. That's cool. And a t-shirt. And they have bead necklaces as well. And here's plenty of more bead necklaces. Now, here's the thing. The parade is going to be coming, and we're going to be watching the Mardi Gras parade, and they throw beads from the floats. Now, granted, they won't be as elaborate as these beads, but you can catch a ton of beads. So you may not want to buy a bead necklace, and you can get a bunch from the parade floats. But that's just a little tip, just in case. And I like this little tribute here to Jazz, Louis Armstrong. I told you before I'm a musician. So I enjoy this. This is great. They've also been playing Zydeco music around uh, through the speakers. I don't know if you can hear it um, in the background at all through the video, but I really like the Zydeco music. It's basically like accordion and guitar and drums, and it's really fun music. So I enjoy that. Now, they do have concerts for Mardi Gras here on the main stage, but they are only on Saturday nights and sometimes Sundays. So I'll show you a picture of the um, events here. And here's the bands who are coming and the dates. But these are mostly just Saturday nights and some Sunday nights. Now they do the parade in the food though every single day. Monday through Sunday, Sunday through Monday. And, or the week, you know what I mean. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So they have the food and parade every day. But the concerts are only on Saturdays and sometimes Sundays. Now, if you are in a seasonal annual pass holder, you are blocked out of Universal Studios on concert nights. So keep that in mind. You can still go to Islands of Adventure, but you cannot come into Universal Studios on the concert nights. But if you want to see the parade in the, and eat the food, you can come any other day as a seasonal pass holder and get to enjoy that. And that's only for seasonal pass holders. If you have a power pass, 
preferred pass or premiere pass, you are still able to come on concert nights. It's just the actual name of the seasonal pass. Some people get confused about that and they're not really sure um, what that means when they read that. So it's only the seasonal pass that's blocked <clears throat> and it's only on concert nights. So that's about all there is extra going on for Mardi Gras is just some of the characters are out and then the food area and the parade and the concerts. So it's not a lot of different things. I believe the concert nights are extremely crowded. I am not here on a concert night. Um, and especially depending on what band is playing, some of those nights are gonna be extremely crowded. So if you're interested in coming on a concert night, hear some of the music? <laughs> um, plan ahead. And if it's a band that you're really in love with, make sure to be in line early, early, early some people wait all day to be at the front of the stage. I have seen that I have come early on Saturdays before just to come ride rides and hang out for a few hours. And there are people already in line for the concert. That's going to be at seven o'clock at night. So plan ahead if it's a band that you really like. So much great little jazz and music, Zydeco music. I love it. All right. I'm going to be heading over here to get a spot for the parade. I like to watch the parade. Um, on this boulevard over here. Not exactly sure of the name of the street, forgive me, but it's the closest one to the exit because this is the street that the parade comes down first. And then it turns and it goes the way we just walked from towards the mummy and then it circles all the way around. So I like to watch it over here. This is where I like to watch the Christmas parade. I don't know, I feel like I just get a good view over here and an up close view. So I'm gonna get my spot for that. Not that I really need to get a spot because it's not like Disney or Main Street where it's really packed and you have to be there on the street, you know, two hours early. You can wait till almost, sometimes you can walk right up. Um, but I just like to sit and enjoy the sights. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for the parade and we'll be back with you in a little bit when that starts. And here's something interesting. I hear there's new floats in this year's parade. So we're gonna get to see some new floats, catch some beads, should be a lot of fun. All right, we'll see you in a little bit.